Hi guys, this is Bobby with Crochet Guru, and I'm really excited to be crocheting with you guys again. So today I'll be showing you a really adorable Christmas elf hat pattern that I created. I actually created this last year, and this is my cute daughter modeling the hat for you guys. For this tutorial, I'm going to make the hat in a child size, but if you need this pattern in a different size for like a baby or a teenager or an adult, I do have the written pattern in all of these sizes on my website, and I'll link the pattern in the description box below. And just a side note, it also might make it easier for you to follow along with me if you have the written pattern by your side. Okay, so let's get started. For the yarn, I'm using Red Heart, and I'm using Cherry Red, patty green and soft white. I'm also using some yarn cutting scissors, an I9 or 5.5 millimeter hook, a thread needle, and I'm also going to be trying out this new pom-pom maker kit that I got from Amazon, and I'm hoping that I'm going to like it so that I can use it for all of my pom-poms. And if I do like it, I'll leave a link for it in the description box below with the rest of the supplies that I'm using today. To start this pattern, we're going to make a magic circle, if you don't know how to make a magic circle, don't worry, just go and watch my tutorial on how to do this, and I will also leave a link for that. So after you make the magic circle, let's chain three. So one, two, and three. Now this chain three is going to count as your first double crochet stitch. Now we're going to place five double crochets into this circle. So yarn over and place your hook into the circle. Yarn over and pull your yarn through the circle and through the first two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull your yarn through the last two loops on your hook. Now let's double crochet into that circle four more times. So this next double crochet that we're making right now will actually make our third double crochet stitch. And this is because we're counting that first chain stitch as our first double crochet. Now we need to double crochet into the circle three more times for a total of six double crochets. So this makes four double crochets. And this will be five double crochets. And this last one will be six. Now that we have all six double crochets into the circle, let's pull our circle closed. To close this circle up, I'm going to have you insert your hook into the first double crochet that we made. Now some patterns will have you insert your hook into the top of the chain, but I'm going to have you insert your hook into the first double crochet because I feel like it looks a little bit nicer for this hat. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through that stitch and also the loop on our hook and that will close up that circle. To start off round two, we're going to chain three, and just like the last round, this chain three will also count as your first double crochet stitch. Let's place one double crochet in each stitch around for a total of six double crochets. So remember, this double crochet counts as two. Placing your hook into the next stitch over, this will count as three double crochets. Working into the next stitch, this will count as four, and we're just working all the way around. This one will be five, and this last one will be six. Now you may notice a small gap like I have, but don't worry about that little space. Just insert your hook into the first double crochet stitch instead of the top of the chain, and that will close that gap right up. So again, just skip over the chain, look for your first double crochet stitch, insert your hook, and pull the yarn through the double crochet and the loop on your hook. Moving on to round three, we're going to chain three again, and again that will count as our first double crochet. So let's place one double crochet into that first stitch, but this will actually be a total of two double crochets into this first stitch because of our chain three. So if this is confusing at all to you, I recommend following along with my written pattern, and again I will have my written patterns link in the description box. Now we're going to place one double crochet into the next stitch, and this will be a total of three double crochets, and then we're going to place two double crochets into the following stitch. So into the next stitch over, place one and two into the same stitch. Now in the next stitch, only place one double crochet, and then the next stitch, place two. So there's one and two. Now in the last stitch, we're going to place our last double crochet, and that will be a total of nine double crochets altogether. 
Remember to finish the round off by slip stitching into the first double crochet stitch. So insert your hook into that first double crochet, yarn over, pull through the double crochet stitch and the loop on your hook. Okay, for round four, we're going to switch to the color white. And if you don't know how to change yarn color or you just need a refresher, go ahead and check out my video tutorial and I'll leave that link for that tutorial in the description box below. Okay, to start round four, we're just going to chain three like we always do. So chain one, two, and three. And remember this counts as our first double crochet. And this round's going to be really easy because all we need to do is double crochet in each stitch around for a total of nine double crochets. So the chain counts as one, so this will be your second double crochet. This will be your third double crochet in the next stitch over. In the next stitch over, this will be your fourth. And then fifth. And there's six double crochets. Seven, eight, and then your last one will be nine. So go ahead and find the very top of your first double crochet, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the double crochet stitch and the loop on your hook, and we're going to go ahead and start the next round. So as I crochet this hat, I'll be cutting my yarn ends off. And if you choose to do this, you don't need to worry about any yarn ends coming loose. Now, if you choose to sew these hats, you'll probably want to sew the yarn ends in so that the hats look more professional. But I'm not really concerned about my hat looking professional because I'm just going to give this to my seven year old daughter and she'll love it either way. Okay, starting round five, let's go ahead and chain three. And remember again, the chain three is always the first double crochet. And again, all we're going to do is just double crochet in each stitch around. So there's your first double crochet, so that will be two double crochets. That'll be three. Four. Five. six, seven, that's eight, and nine for your last one. And remember to find the top of your first double crochet and slip stitch into that first double crochet. All right, moving on to round six, we're going to change our color. We're going to change it back to red. And after you get that new color in place, go ahead and chain three. Okay, now we're going to place one double crochet into the next stitch. And into the next stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. So there's one and there's two double crochets into the same stitch. Now we're going to place one double crochet into the next two stitches. So there's one, and in the next stitch over, place another double crochet. Now in the next stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. So there's one and two into the same stitch. Now place one double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the following stitch. Now we're going to place two double crochets into the very last stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch. And that will be your last stitch for a total of 12 stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these loose ends off because they just kind of get in my way. Again, you can weave those in if you're trying to make this more professional. And then let's go ahead and slip stitch this together. So find the top of your first double crochet, insert your hook, Yarn over the hook, pull through the first double crochet and through the loop on your hook. Okay guys, so round seven is going to be really easy. All we're going to do is chain three and then we're going to double crochet in each stitch around. 
So let's chain three. And remember that chain three counts as your very first double crochet. So this next double crochet will be your second double crochet. So this will be two, three, This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's eleven. and 12. And remember to slip stitch into the top of that double crochet to finish off that round. Okay, so for round eight, we're going to switch back to the color white, and then go ahead and chain three like we've done for all of the rounds. And now we're going to place one double crochet into the next two double crochet stitches. So in the next stitch, place one double crochet, and in the next stitch, place another double crochet. Okay, so now in the next stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. So there's one and two. Now in the next two stitches, we'll only place one double crochet. So there's one and there's one in the next stitch. Now we'll place two double crochets into the following stitch. So there's one and now there's two in the same stitch. In the next two stitches, we only place one double crochet. So there's one, and then there's one in the next stitch over. In the next stitch, we'll be placing two double crochets. So there's one, and then two in the same stitch. And then remember, we're just going to be placing one double crochet in the next stitch, and then one more double crochet in the stitch after that. So that should make a total of 15 stitches on this round. So again, to finish the round, find the first double crochet stitch and make a slip stitch. For round nine, we're going to chain three and then we're just going to double crochet in each stitch around. So let's chain three. Remember, this is your first double crochet. So in the second stitch, that will be your second double crochet. So there's two double crochets three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So make sure you have 15 double crochets around. And then to finish off, we're going to find that first double crochet that we made and slip stitch into that very first double crochet. Moving on to round 10, we're going to switch to the color red. And just like all of the other rounds, we're going to chain three. Okay, so now we're going to double crochet into the next three double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. So remember, because of the chain, this actually makes four double crochets. Now into the next stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. So there's one and two into the same stitch. Now into the next four stitches, we're going to place one double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, so into the next stitch, we place two double crochets. So there's one 
and two into the same stitch. Now again into the next four double crochets, we will just place one double crochet. So there's one, two, three, and four, and into the very last stitch or double crochet, we're going to place two double crochets. So there's one and two. And now we get to finish this off by slip stitching into that very first double crochet. Okay, so for round 11, we're going to chain three, and then we're going to go ahead and double crochet in each stitch around, and we're going to make sure we have 18 double crochets. So that first chain is the first double crochet. So this will be two double crochets, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And then remember to slip stitch into the first double crochet. Okay, so round 12, we're switching to white. And again, to start this round off, we'll chain three. So there's one, two, and three. Now in the next four stitches, we'll place one double crochet. So there's one into the next stitch. One more double crochet into the following stitch. One more double crochet into the next and then one more into the next. So that's going to be a total of five double crochets all together because we're counting the chain. In the next stitch, we'll place two double crochets. So there's one and two into the next stitch. And then into the next five double crochets, we're just going to place one double crochet. So there's one, there's two, three, four, and this will be your fifth double crochet. Okay, so in the next stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. So there's one and two into the same stitch. And then in the next five stitches, we'll place one double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And then to the last stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. So there's one and two. Now just make sure you have a total of 21 stitches when you get done, okay? And then go ahead and slip stitch into that very first double crochet. Okay, so we're now on to round 13, and 13's easy, you just have to chain three, and then go ahead and put a double crochet into each stitch around. And we need a total of 21 double crochets. So this will be your third double crochet, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 for your last one. And then go ahead and slip stitch into that first double crochet that you made. Okay, so moving on to round 14, we're going to switch back to the color red. And when you're ready, go ahead and chain three. Now we're going to work one double crochet into the next five stitches. And remember that will actually give us a total of six double crochets because of that chain. So there's one into the next stitch. Go ahead and place another double crochet. So that's two, three, four, and then five, but remember that's actually a total of six because of the chain. Now into the next stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. So there's one and two into the same stitch. And now we're going to work six double crochets into the next six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then into the next stitch, remember to work two double crochets. So there's one and two. And then remember into the next six stitches, we're only gonna work one double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we'll finish with two double crochets into the same stitch. So there's one, and then two into the same stitch. And then remember to slip stitch into that first double crochet that you made. Okay, so 15's our easy round. Remember to chain three and just work one double crochet in each stitch around for a total of 24 double crochets. Because this round is so simple, I'm going to let you finish this round on your own. So pause the video and remember to place one double crochet into each stitch around for a total of 24 double crochets. Then when you're finished, restart the video and I'll meet you back here for round 16. Okay, so moving on to round 16, we're going to change back to the color white. And then we'll go ahead and chain three. So there's one, two, and three. And now we're going to place one double crochet into the next six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And remember the chain counts as our seventh. So in this next double crochet, place two stitches, one, and here will be two, now place one double crochet into the next seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, here's four, five, six, and seven, in the next stitch, place two double crochets. So there's one, two, place one double crochet into the next seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and place two double crochets into the very last stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch. 
Now you should have a total of 27 stitches when you finish. Then go ahead and slip stitch into that first double crochet. Moving on to round 17, chain three. Pause the video, go ahead and place one double crochet into each stitch around for a total of 27 stitches. When you're finished with the stitches, go ahead and restart the video and I'll meet you back here for round 18. Okay guys, for round 18, we're switching to the color red. And then when you're ready, go ahead and chain three. And now we're going to double crochet into the next seven double crochet stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, remember that'll be a total of eight, into the next double crochet stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. So there's two in the same stitch. Now in the next eight double crochets, we're only going to place one double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now in the next stitch, place two double crochets into the same stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch. Now go ahead and work one double crochet into the next eight stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now into this last stitch, place two double crochets. So there's one and two into the same stitch. This will be a total of 30 double crochets. Go ahead and slip stitch into that first double crochet. Okay, moving on to round 19, it's our easy round. So chain three, go ahead and double crochet into each stitch around. I'll have you pause the video again. Make sure to get 30 double crochets and then I'll meet you back here for round 20. For round 20, we're going to switch back to white. Go ahead and chain three. And now we're going to double crochet into the next eight stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now place two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch. Now we're going to place one double crochet into the next nine double crochets. So this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now place two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one, two into the same stitch. Now place one double crochet into the next nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and nine. Now in the last stitch, we're going to place two double crochets. So there's one, two into the same stitch. For this round, you should have a total of 33 stitches. To finish off, slip stitch into the first double crochet, and I'm going to cut those loose ends off just to get those out of my way. Okay, we're back to our easy round again. So chain three and make sure to double crochet in each stitch around for a total of 33 double crochets. Pause the video, work this round, and then I'll meet you back here for round 22. For round 22, we're switching back to red. We're going to chain three. And now let's place one double crochet into the next nine double crochet stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then place two into the next stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch. Now we're going to work one double crochet into the next 10 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Work two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one and two. Again, work one double crochet into the next 10 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then in the very last stitch, work two double crochets. So there's one and two in that last stitch. Remember to finish off by slip stitching into that first double crochet. For round 23, we're going to chain three and then go ahead and place one double crochet in each of the stitches around for a total of 36 stitches. Pause the video and then meet me back here for round 24. Okay guys, for round 24, we're gonna go ahead and change our color back to white. Then we're starting off with the chain three. Now we're going to place one double crochet in each of the next 10 double crochet stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, now place two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch. Now we'll place one double crochet into the next 11 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11. Now place two in the next stitch. One, two into the same stitch. Now place one double crochet into the next 11 stitches. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now place two in the very last stitch. One, two into the same stitch. Remember to slip stitch into that first double crochet that we made. Again, for round 25, pause the video, chain your three, work one double crochet in each stitch around, and make sure to get a total of 39 double crochets. Okay guys, we're on round 26. We're going to switch to the color red and chain three. And now we're going to place one double crochet in each of the next 11 double crochet stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this is 10, and this is 11. Now remember that chain three makes 12 stitches total. Now let's place two double crochets into the next stitch. So that's one, and then place one more into the same stitch. Now place one double crochet into the next 12 double crochet stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now place two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch. Repeating the same pattern, we're going to place one double crochet into the next 12 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now remember to place two double crochets into the last stitch. So there's one, two. Now this will give us a total of 42 stitches. Slip stitch into that first double crochet. Okay, we made it to round 27. So remember to chain three double crochet in each stitch around and pause the video and then I'll meet you back here for the next round. All right, round 28, we're switching back to white. We're chaining three and we're going to place one double crochet into the next 12 stitches. So there's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. In the next stitch, place two double crochets. So there's one, two into the same stitch. And now we're going to place one double crochet into the next 14 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, now let's place two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch. And continuing the pattern, we're placing one double crochet into the next 13 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and remember in the last stitch we place two double crochets, so there's one and there's two. Finish this round off by placing a slip stitch into that first double crochet. Okay, moving on to round 29, chain three. Make sure to place one double crochet in each stitch around for a total of 45 stitches. Okay, so just a little side note. This is actually where I stop if I'm going to make this pattern for a baby. So if you're making this pattern for a baby, stop right here and skip ahead to the ribbing section part of this tutorial. Okay, here we are at round 30. We're going to switch back to the color red, and then when you're ready, go ahead and chain three. Okay, now we're going to double crochet into the next 13 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and place two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch. And now we're going to place one double crochet into the next fourteen stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, 
13 and now 14. Now in the next one we'll place two double crochets. So one and two into the same stitch and then we'll go 14 again. So one double crochet into the next 14 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and there's fourteen. Now in the next stitch place two double crochets. So there's one, there's two, both into the same stitch. And then go ahead and slip stitch into that first double crochet. For round 31 remember to chain three and then double crochet in each stitch around for a total of 48 stitches. And then I'll meet you back here for round 32. Okay, we're back at round 32. Go ahead and switch to white and chain three. And this round is actually going to be a little different because we're going to start widening this hat. So really pay attention this time because we will be adding more stitches into the hat to get it big enough to fit a child. To start off this round, we're going to place one double crochet into the next six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to place two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one, and two into the same stitch. And now we're going to place one double crochet into the next seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now place two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one and two. Now place one double crochet into the next seven stitches again. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then place two into the next double crochet. So there's one and two, and then place one into the next seven double crochet stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to place two into the next stitch. So there's one and two into the same stitch and then place one into the next seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, place two into the next. So one, two, two double crochets in one stitch and then place another seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
and 7, and in the last stitch, we're going to place 2. And 2 into that last stitch. Remember to slip stitch into that first double crochet. Okay, so round 33 will also be different. Go ahead and chain your 3, but instead of double crocheting all the way around, we're going to continue widening this hat. So let's start this round by placing one double crochet into the next seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now place two double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one, two into the same stitch. Now we're going to place one double crochet into the next eight stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now place two into the next stitch. So there's one, and two into the same stitch. Now we're back to one double crochet into the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now place two into the next stitch. One, two. Now place one into the next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now remember to place two into the next stitch. One, two, and now one double crochet into the next eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now place two into the next stitch. So one, and another double crochet into the same stitch. Then place one double crochet into the next eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then place two into that very last stitch. So one, two, and then slip stitch into the top of that double crochet. Okay, for round 34, and we're just about done, guys. So go ahead and switch to red and chain your three. And this is the last row that we're going to be widening the hat. Okay, let's start out by placing one double crochet into the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now place two in the next stitch. So there's one, and then two double crochets into the same stitch. And now we're going to place one double crochet in each of the next nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now place two into the next stitch. So one and two into the same stitch. And now go ahead and place one into each of the next nine double crochet stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now place two into the next double crochet stitch. So one, two, now place one into the next nine again. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now place two into the next stitch. One, two into the same stitch. And then go back to placing one into the next nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now place two into the next stitch. So one, two into the same stitch. Now go back to placing one into the next nine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then place two into the very last stitch. So there's one and two into that last stitch. Okay guys, so remember to chain your three for this next round, round 35. Pause the video, work your double crochet stitches all the way around, and I'll meet you back here for the next round. Okay, so rounds 36 and 37 are exactly the same. We are switching back to the color white, double crochet in every stitch around, and just make sure to get a total of 66 stitches. So pause this video now and work both of those rounds, and I will meet you back here for round 38. Okay, we're back for round 38, and this is going to be the ribbing part. And this time we're switching to the color green, and we're only chaining one. And all we're going to do is just single crochet around on this row. So I'm not going to do the whole row with you since we're just single crocheting, but I'll do a couple with you. So there's one, two. So finish working these single crochet stitches around, and I'll meet you back here for the next round. To finish off round 37, just place a slip stitch into the first single crochet that you made. Starting round 39, we're going to chain three. For this round, we're going to be working a series of front and back post double crochet stitches. So to work the front post, we will be working a normal double crochet. But instead of inserting the hook into the top of the stitch like we always do, we're going to insert it instead around the stitch. So just like that. So let's go ahead and make that first front post double crochet stitch. So yarn over, and remember, instead of going into the stitch, we're going to go around the stitch. Yarn over and pull through that stitch, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, and then the last two loops. 
Okay, so now let's work a back post stitch. So instead of inserting your hook to the front of the stitch, we're going to insert it into the back of the stitch this time. And then just double crochet like usual. Now we're just going to continue working front posts and back posts. So remember to go around the front post and double crochet. And now go to the back post. Now do a double crochet around the front post again. And then back to the back post. All right, so I'm going to let you guys finish off this round and then I'll meet you back here for the next round because we're going to do our front post and back post just a little bit differently this time. Okay, so this will be for rounds 40 through 43. So again, start off by chaining three. So on the last round, we were working our post stitches into single crochet stitches. But this time we're working our post stitches into double crochet stitches. So the post stitches are worked the same, but instead of working around the top part of the stitch, move your hook down and work around the entire stitch like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and work around that first front post double crochet. So there's your first front post. Now let's go ahead and work around the back. Remember to take it all the way around to the back. And work that next back post double crochet. And then work the front post. And then work the back post. Now you're gonna continue this all the way around the hat. I'll do two more with you. Go around the front post. and then double crochet around the back post. Now I'm going to let you finish off this round along with the next three rounds. So pause the video and work these rounds up and I'll meet you back here for the very last round which will be round 44. Okay, so we made it to the very last round, round 44. And this is so easy guys. All we have to do is just single crochet around the entire hat for a total of 66 stitches. So I'm just gonna show you a few of these and then I'll let you finish this off. Okay, so finish this off you guys and I'll meet you back here to show you how to make the pom-pom. For the pom-pom, I've decided to go with my medium pink pom-pom maker. So you decide what size you would like to go with for your pom-pom, but I'm gonna go with kind of a medium size. So before you wrap the yarn, make sure both sides of the pom-pom maker are lined up. Take your green yarn. We're going to start at the very bottom of the pom-pom maker. Make sure to hold your yarn in place with your thumb, and we're just going to start wrapping that yarn around. Make sure your yarn doesn't wrap around the bottom of the pom-pom maker, just like mine did. So if that happens, just push it back up, and then just keep wrapping. So I don't know if you can tell, but this is my first time using one of these. Usually I'll just use a piece of cardboard, but I kind of wanted to try something a little fancier today, and so far it's actually working pretty cool. So I'm just going to keep wrapping, and I've heard that you have to make these pretty full. So just keep wrapping. I like my pom-poms to be really full, so I'm going to keep going as much as I can. When you're just about done with the first side, bring your yarn over to the very end and slide it through that gap. Now start wrapping that yarn over the other side of the pom-pom maker. And again, I'm going to make mine nice and full. And then when you're finished with the other side, go ahead and close your pom-pom maker together. Cut your yarn. Make sure your scissors are really sharp and then go ahead and just cut that yarn all the way around that pom-pom maker. Now I'm going to cut about five inches of yarn and I'm going to wrap it around the inside of the pom-pom maker and I'm going to tie it really nice and tight around that pom-pom maker. And I'm gonna do that several times just to make sure it's really secure. I don't want that pom-pom coming loose. Now I'm going to make another knot, but I'm going to take it up through the other direction. Okay. 
Okay, after all that, now it's time to see if this pom-pom maker really works. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this open. And I believe that you break it apart. So far, this is a pretty cool gadget, I have to say. Okay, and then you go ahead and break it open. Cool, this actually looks really good. It's really nice and full. So I am actually pretty impressed with this pom-pom maker. So I will leave a link for it in the description box below. Okay, so I ended up just cutting off some of the little pieces of yarn that were a little bit too long off the pom-pom. And now I'm going to stitch my pom-pom into my hat. So I'm just taking my yarn needle and I'm kind of pushing it up through the knots inside of the pom-pom so that way it's nice and secure in there. And then I'm just going to stitch it onto the top of my hat. And honestly, I don't usually use a plastic yarn needle. They're not my favorite, but I actually cannot find my regular yarn needles. So this is just kind of my backup needle and it actually works. It works just fine. So if you get in a bind, a plastic one works just fine. Okay, so I'm just sewing back and forth through the pom-pom. And that's all you need to do just to make sure it's really secure. I would just go back and forth several times. Make sure you feel safe that the pom-pom won't come loose. And then when you're finished, just make sure to cut off all of those yarn ends. The very last thing I'm going to show you is just me weaving in that loose yarn end because that's not something I'd want to cut off. That's something I'd want to weave in. And of course, if you're making this hat, to sell, you'll probably want to go up through the entire hat, turn it inside out, go up through the entire hat, and just weave in all of those ends. So right now I'm just going to go back and forth through the stitches and get rid of that loose end. All right, so here's the finished hat, and I think it looks super cute, and I was really happy with the pom-pom maker. I think the pom-pom's nice and full, and I am going to be making more videos in the future, so if you guys have any ideas on patterns that you'd like me to make, please tell me in the comment section below, because I would love to know your ideas. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me, and I will see you guys again for the next video.